Well, prostate cancer is now the number one cause of cancer death in men. It kills 10,000 men every year. There are about 35,000 new diagnoses every year, and providing it's caught early, quite a few of those men can be cured by surgery or radiotherapy, but we still see a lot of men with uh, advanced prostate cancer, and for them, hormonal treatment uh, is the best option, and uh, they often respond well to hormonal therapy for many years. Well, we think that a holistic approach to prostate cancer is absolutely central, especially in the men who are on hormone therapies where uh, prolonged castration treatment, uh, usually given by drugs, can weaken the bones and weaken the muscles. So it's especially important for these men to do regular exercise, to eat a healthy diet with plenty of calcium and plenty of protein. And uh, for somebody, not only the men, but also their families, their partners, uh, to be involved in a, a healthier lifestyle because they can live for many, many years on this treatment and their quality of life doesn't have to be affected as badly as it sometimes is. So we're completely behind a more holistic approach to prostate cancer. For the very many men that uh, present with prostate cancer, standard therapy has been to give continuous hormonal therapy, but there's a lot of evidence now that uh, a more stop-start treatment, intermittent hormone therapy, giving, if you like, the patients a kind of hormone holiday, is, um, is, will improve their quality of life by reducing the side effects associated with uh, hormonal therapy. And that's where uh, a drug like Firmagon has a definite advantage because, it, because it's rapid onset, it's also rapid offset. So you can use it, get a rapid uh, control, use it for a while, then stop it, and the uh, testosterone levels, the hormone levels bounce back again. So that hormone holiday, if you like, starts earlier. And I think that is potentially a big advantage.